Hi there. This video is going to look at something called concyclic points. Concyclic points are points that lie on a circle. If we look at this example here, we have a circle. We've got four points on that circle. Those four points are concyclic because they lie on the edge of the circle, on the circumference of the circle. We can join these points together to form polygons within a circle. So this particular polygon is a quadrilateral and we've come across something called cyclic quadrilaterals before. Now there's a special property with cyclic quadrilaterals and that property is opposite interior angles add to 180 degrees. So if we didn't know a quadrilateral was cyclic, uh, we could look at the opposite interior angles. So if we look at these two angles here, 95 and 85 degrees, they add to 180. So that being the case, we can say that this particular quadrilateral is indeed a cyclic quadrilateral by virtue of the fact that the opposite interior angles add to 180. And only one pair need to do that. Or you only need to identify one pair of opposite interior angles adding to 180 degrees in order to prove that it is cyclic. Another rule that we've come across is the rule about angles on the same arc. So if you remember, if we've if we have a circle and we've got a chord, uh, sorry, a, an arc, so if we draw an arc here, and then from that arc we have uh, two pairs of chords. So if I draw one chord there and then extending from the same, from the opposite end of the arc, another chord, and then if I draw another pair of chords to some other point, these two angles here are equal as long as the, the chords extend from the same arc. So if we didn't know that, say we've got a diagram that looks like this. If I just label these points A, B, C and D. Um, if these two angles, for example, are equal then we would have a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So for example, if that was 65 degrees and this was 65 degrees, then A, B, C, D would be a cyclic quadrilateral. Which means that if we join these points together, we would have a cyclic quadrilateral. Now you'd only need to find one pair of angles on the same arc in order to prove that that particular quadrilateral is cyclic. The last rule that we can use is the rule where the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. So if we've got a quadrilateral here, say this quadrilateral was cyclic, then this angle would be equal to that angle there. If you've got that case, then this quadrilateral, we call it A, B, C, D again, would also be cyclic. So let's have a look at an example. So in the quadrilateral ABCD, the diagonals BC, so this line here, BC and AD, which is this line here, intersect at O. If AB is parallel to CD and DO, that is the length of DO, is equal to the length of CO, prove that ABCD are concyclic. 
So what do we have here? Okay, first thing is that we've got some parallel lines and we also have an isosceles triangle. So what we can say is that with the isosceles triangle, those two angles there are the same. So let's start writing this up. Angle OCD is equal to angle ODC. And the reason is base angles in an isosceles triangle. Now we can use those two angles to work out these angles here. So that one and that one. We can see that they are alternate angles on parallel lines. So if we start with angle B, C, D. Oops, angle B, C, D is equal to angle A, B, C. And that's alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. And we can also say that um, angle BAD is equal to angle CDO. For the same reason. So alternate angles, parallel lines. Okay, so it almost looks like we've, we may be able to use the rule um, angles on the same arc. So what I can see here is we have, if we look at this angle here, so that angle here, actually all four angles that we've found out so far are all the same. So all those angles are equal. Um, so if I say look at this angle here and this angle here, it looks like they are coming from the same arc. Okay, so which would mean that the arc would probably be here. So if you can imagine we've got a chord, if this is the arc, if that's the arc, we've got a chord going there. Just grab another colour. We've got a chord going here, another one going there with an angle. And from the same arc, we've got two more chords extending from this arc with this angle here, which is the same as this angle. So let's write that up. We have um, angle. A, B, C is equal to angle A, D, C therefore uh, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, and we can also use the rule uh, angles on same arc. Okay, 